Oh, you baby. Everybody say hi to Wavis. Oh, the Chihuahua. Oh, you baby Chihuahua. Oh, you a baby Chihuahua. What's up, everybody? Um, just a little video here on how I'm going to be dipping my coral every time I get a new piece from here on out. Uh, some people may think this is a little overboard. Some people may do the same exact thing. But this is how I'm going to be doing it so that I can, uh, you know, try and get 100% no hitchhikers on my coral. Um, so, first things first, everything's getting ready here. Um, I have two gallons of water mixing. I usually use about a gallon, uh, maybe a gallon and a half at the most, but you know, have a little extra just in case you spill something or you know, you got to freshen up the coral a little bit more. So, I got two gallons of water mixing up, and yes, this is an old cheese ball container. These things are awesome. So, anyway, two gallons of fresh salt water mixing, and then I'm going to be using the uh, Bear Advanced Insect Killer. What I'm using is 100 milliliters of the Bear and a half a gallon of water. You know, mix it up. Um, you know, there's a ton of different methods on how much to use. Uh, I've used it before at 100 milliliters for my Euphelia and it was fine. So that's what I'm going to stick with for now. So. I usually take the coral and I stir it in the water for about two to three minutes and then right from there I go right to the uh, Tropic Marin it's the Pro Coral Cure um, I'm gonna be soaking it in this for 15 minutes and then from there I'm going to be going to a container of fresh salt water uh, just plain so while I'm doing each stage. I'm going to be using a turkey baster. Mix it up, shoot it up in here, you know, swish it up, shoot it up in there, and then the same thing with here. I'm going to give it a nice little shower. So that's my little setup. Of course, I have my RO water. Um, I'm going to have a sample of my salt water to make sure that the salinity is right on the money right before I start putting all this water in. Um, the Tropic Marin stuff I've used a lot of times, um, especially when I had a sick coral, worked pretty good. All it is is um, one milliliter of that for 200 milliliters of water. So I am going to get to this process and I will try and do a little video on um, how I do through the process. Alright, let's get to it. Alright, so here's the specimen that I'm going to be dipping. i put on the light here. You guys can see it a little bit better. It's a, uh, you know, ultra green torch. Let's see if you can get a good view. Probably not, but whatever. So there it is. This has two, three, four, five heads. And it's growing a little weird in a couple spots. So this one here, since I've gotten it, has not fully opened. So we're going to give it a dip. And, uh, see if anything comes out of it. So like I said before, I'm going to be using this to stir into the bear for two minutes. This is the boring part. Once in a while I pull it up, make sure whatever's in there is falling off, going to the bottom. last torch I did this to actually opened up you know within about two hours between two and four hours it was open and happy um, and that was the one that I did get about four or five little baby flatworms I'm only dipping the corals that have not been mounted to my rock yet um, I was actually talking to reef spy earlier on the phone about um, the Salifert, I think it's called Worm Exit, 
flatworm exit. So he said that stuff is awesome. It worked really well. So I'm probably going to be getting that just to be on the safe side. I'm dosing the tank with it. It is reef safe, so I don't have to remove all my coral. So about another minute. I just do a gentle stir, you know. You don't have to mix the coral up the whole time. You can just let it sit at the bottom. Give it, you know, two, three minutes or whatever, depending on what kind of coral it is, I guess. You know, if it's an acro, you'd probably want to do a higher dosage of the bear and maybe soak it a little bit longer. But this is Euphelia. Not too many bugs can get in this. The only issue I've ever seen really is flatworms. And like I said, since I found that one, I get super freaked out. So, alright. So it's been about two minutes. So now what I'm going to do is take it out. And I'm going to just give it a quick rinse in the water that I took out of the tank. And then it's going in. There it is. You can see right there, it's kind of like growing weird. It's not even formed a head. It's, it's, and then right there. So this could be the reason why it's agitated because it's growing a little funky. But it's a nice coral. So then it's just going to sit in the Tropic Marin for 15 minutes. Once in a while I'm going to hit it with a turkey baster just to swish it off a little bit. And then um, after 15 minutes I'm going to be taking it out, giving it a good rinse in the fresh salt water. Usually what I do is when I transfer it from the curing dip to the fresh salt, while it's sitting there for a couple minutes, I real quick rinse this out. And since I have um, extra salt water, I'm going to fill this one back up with another thing of fresh salt water. So I think I'm going to be giving it two fresh salt water baths. Um, and then, you know, I, I take uh, some old flashlight I have, but it's actually super bright. And, you know, I inspect it as, as often as I can while I'm sitting here for those 15 minutes see if anything's popping off of it or trying to crawl off of it and uh, that's it and uh, we will finish the process and give it a couple days in the tank and see how it looks I poured the advanced you know the bear advanced into this jar so I can see the bottom nothing came out of it I got one little copepod or whatever amphipod and that's it. No bugs. No, no hitchhikers. Just one little guy. So, not bad. What I also wanted to mention too was when you're dipping coral, always keep the same container for the same dip. So like I had that BRS container for my Bear Advanced Complete Insect Killer. That's the only thing that I ever put inside of that same goes for this even though it's glass and you can scrub it nothing else goes in this but when I use the bear advanced same thing with the uh, the Tupperwares if you're gonna use a Tupperware for the bear put a mark on it scratch it or something put the letter B on it so you don't mix it because that's some pretty toxic stuff now when you're using a um, a regular dip that really doesn't matter um, because that stuff can come out pretty good so Coral's been sitting for about six, seven minutes, and uh, we're gonna take it and switch it over in another, you know, six, seven minutes. All right, so I'm done dipping corals. I did not dip every single one. We'll start off with um, this purple blue tip hammer. This one got the double dip. This one here got the double dip. Um, and the, uh, the entire torch forest that I like to call it. If you can see here too, you see that I did end up cutting that head off. It almost looked like it was getting like a brown jelly. So that one got the trim there underneath that, uh, you can kind of see it right there in the middle. But anyway, these are the only two hammers that got the dip. Um, and then swing on over to the torch forest. 
I love this section of the tank. Um, the one that I actually showed you guys on film is this one right here. It's doing just fine. This one here is the one that actually had the flatworms on it. Uh, got the little five little babies off of it and I dipped every single torch, put them back, and they were all clean. I had no bugs, nothing off of any of them. So, look at this. I love the color of this one, man. This is a super purple with this awesome blue tip. Turn the gel filter on. See that there's not there's not really a difference with the lighting or with my lighting anyway. But you can see that they're all doing just fine. Look at them. I'm sorry. You guys are just going to have to stare at this with me for a little bit. Love it. I did take this big rock. There was a big rock right here. I took it off. This coral right here is getting out of here. That's going. I put its brother right back there for now. I don't know if I like the way it looks because I got this green, 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 but it's kind of cool because this is like a super bright, this is like a purple green tip with like a little bit, a little bit of blue in there and then that's just a solid green. So I'm not sure if that one in the back's gonna stay. I might look for a, you know, a super bright yellow one or something, but, and then these little orange guys here are doing good. Let me see if this changes anything. Yeah, a little bit of better view. But, <clears throat> oh yeah, and another thing. No more brown algae in the tank. It's all gone. All gone. Super happy. All I had to do was turn up the flow. But yeah, so that concludes the uh, the Bayer dip. And um, I'm not going to be afraid to dip more corals in the future as I get them. But uh, hope this video was a little bit educational for you guys. Um, again, if you're going to be using the Bayer dip, you know, start out little by little. Don't overdose it. You know, don't soak them for too long. And um, I'll talk to you guys later.